Hi, everybody. Welcome and thank you so much for joining this episode of Planoly Presents. We are very, very excited to, uh, for everyone to be here. My name is Paulina and I'm Director of Customer Growth Marketing here at Planoly. While we wait for everyone to join, I would love to know where are you from? Please make sure to enter your answers in the chat box section and make it available to all panelists and attendees. Oh, where are you from? So let's see, Scotland, that's amazing. Connecticut, Portland, I'm from Mexico, Maryland, Wyoming, California. Ooh, it's all over. Well, welcome everyone. I'm very, very excited to see people from all over the world here on this workshop in which we'll learn very cool things. So if you have any questions during the workshop, please make sure to add them to the Q&A box and we'll try to answer all of them at the end of this presentation. In this work workshop, we'll learn how to use PIM Planner to stress less and plan better for this holiday season. I don't know if you're familiar with Planoly, but we started as the first visual planner for Instagram and have grown into the industry leading social marketing platform trusted by over 5 million users to visually plan, schedule, measure, all everything across Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Today, we'll be learning about how to use Pin Planner to plan your strategy. To be honest, not because I work here, I think that it is the best product out there in the market to create a strategy to expand your reach and your brand awareness. You can use Pin Planner from your computer through the web dashboard, or you can go with, or you can use it on the go with your mobile app. And the best part is that we are an official Pinterest partner. Pin Planner is available in all our plans. And if you want to give it a try, we have set up a promo code for you. So you will get 100% off your first month for free. Just make sure to sign up through our web dashboard and use this promo code that I'm showing here. And also, I just want to ask you that if you want to share your Instagram and Pinterest handle, it is okay. We're gonna share a Facebook group in the chat box. So you can go ahead and join that group. And at the end of the session, we'll start a thread so all of us can chat together. Please leave the, the chat box clear for all the panel comments that you have. And remember to add all your, all your questions to the Q&A box. So today I'm thrilled to, pre to be presenting Katrina Blur. She's joining us. She's an interior designer and she is a lifestyle blogger. She has been featured in very important magazines like The Glitter Guide, HGTV Magazine, and some other online publications. I'm a huge fan of her blog. All the projects that she creates are super inspiring. And the fun part is that she uses Pin Planner to movies. And today we'll be learning how she has reached 3.4 million monthly views through Pinterest. So Katrina, we're very glad to hear you, to hear from you and learn more about what you need to tell us. Welcome. Oh, Katrina, are you there? Oh, you're on mute, I think so. Can you hear me? Yes, now we can. Wonderful. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Welcome and thank you so much for joining. You are such an inspiration for me and for all the content creators out there because you will have a super successful blog and thanks to Pinterest you have been able to achieve this so I'm really wanting to learn more about it so the stage is all yours. Okay wonderful go ahead and get started thank you so much for the introduction. Hi, I'm Katrina. I'm an interior DIY and content creator. Off duty, I'm a lover of small homes and oat milk lattes. On my blog, Katrina Blair, I share DIY projects, design inspiration, and ideas to maximize small spaces. I've been blogging for over 10 years. I started blogging to share the story of my small home and the plans my husband and I had to remodel it. I'm a natural born sharer. I love creating content and I love working with brands. Today on the Planoly Pin Planner Workshop, we'll review how to create your content workflow, 
how to use Planoly's Pin Planner, general best practices for Pinterest. I discovered Planoly a few years ago after one of my blog friends shared with me it's her favorite way to help her plan and create her content for Instagram. Planoly is a game changer when helping alleviate that pressure of what to post and when to post. There are so many reasons why I love Planoly. Here's a few reasons why plus some benefits of Planoly. Planoly makes it easy to schedule Instagram content on both desktop and the mobile app. Planoly provides tools, tips, and resources for planning and creating content. Planoly's pin planner is the key for my Pinterest content planning. I have been a huge fan of Pinterest and user for years. For me, Pinterest is more than just a place for pretty pictures. I've used Pinterest to grow my blog readership, grow my email list, gain insight on my followers, and partner with brands to create content. Pinterest printers love discovering and saving new ideas. It's full of feel-good inspiration. Pinterest converts organic traffic better to your website and blog. People who are on Pinterest are more likely to leave the platform to visit your content and learn everything about your project, the recipe you created, or the products you're selling. Fun fact, Pinterest is the number one source that helps drive traffic to my website and not just new blog posts, even my older content. Take a look at your website analytics and where your main traffic is coming from. Pinterest converts. Why I love Pinterest. Pinterest is perfect for evergreen content. The more your pin is repinned, the more it's discoverable to more Pinterest users. Pinterest makes it easy to generate traffic to a blog or website. Pinterest makes it easy to pin, discover, and share pin stories and video content. Here's a closer look at my Pinterest. My Pinterest is a reflection of my brand and personality. My Pinterest bio is simple and to the point. I have my Pinterest boards organized into categories and topics I share regularly on my blog, Katrina Blair. The first board that shows on my Pinterest page is my blog, Katrina Blair. All the pins on my Katrina Blair board are from the content I've created on my blog. This helps showcase my DIY projects, some design projects, and more. All these images link directly back to my website and blog posts. You'll notice all my Pinterest boards have simple, clear board names. For example, living room style, office style, dining room style. This makes boards more searchable. Before, I used to have cutesy sounding board names. Cutesy isn't searchable. Having my Pinterest boards defined with clear names has helped me increase my Pinterest following. Every board should have a clear description of what the board is about. How to create a workable and planned Pinterest content. Why planning sessions are important. Planning your content helps you identify your goals and create content across your website and social media. These sessions are important because planning your content helps you identify your goals and create cohesive across your website and social media. Planning out your content in advance helps you organize and saves time. The holidays are fast approaching. Now is the perfect time to pause so you have more time to enjoy the season. Planning out my content in advance helps me save time and takes the pressure off what to pin next. Schedule a time for content planning sessions, either monthly or semi-monthly. Make your content planning session something you look forward to. Treat yourself to a latte, light a candle, put on your favorite music, whatever helps you get in the creative workspace. Content planning considerations. Set aside time for a content planning session. Ask yourself, what are your goals? What content are your holiday content pillars? And what con content do you want your audience to see? What content performs well? And how can you build on this for the holidays? In Pin Planner, you can look at your analytics. I personally prefer the analytics in Planoly over Pinterest. 
I love the plan-only analytics because they are visible, meaning you see the detailed data on each pin. I love being able to sort by time period, up to 90 days, sort by pin engagements, saves, clicks, and close-ups, and impressions. Knowing your pin data helps you in the content planning sessions. Pin planning is basically you automating your pin process. Start executing your content now and plan to schedule it later. Pen Planner. I was super excited when Planoly released Pen Planner. Pen Planner allows you to visually schedule pin, your pins and automate your process. Like most creative people, I'm a visual person and planning my content visually helps me in my creative process. In this section, we'll go over how to use Pen Planner and ways I use it in the past, the benefits of using Pen Planner when scheduling one off content versus recurring series what's currently in my planning queue, and the rationale behind it. Here's my pen planner. On the left side is my content library. On the right is the calendar view. You can view your pen planner in a monthly view or weekly view. I personally love the monthly view. I like seeing the big picture. Plus, this allows me to view any content gaps in my calendar and view upcoming workshops from Planoly. I have a Planoly dual plan, which allows me to have an account for my Instagram and Pinterest accounts, plus unlimited uploads and more. I love being able to have multiple pins scheduled in advance. I personally love being able to take a look at my Pinterest analytics for up to 90 days and see how well my pins are performing. I use the pin data in my content planning sessions. Knowing your pin data takes the guesswork out of the process and gives you insight on your audience responds to and what content they like the most. Your pin library is full of all the image you're going to turn into pins. To create your pin library, select the plus sign and you're able to upload from different sources. There are four ways you can add pins. From your computer, Dropbox, Google Drive, and Canva. I love the new option of being able to upload from Canva. This new feature is great, especially to use Canva to design your pins and resize your pin images. This integration is awesome. In addition to images, you can also add video to your content library. Video content is huge, becoming huge, huge on Pinterest. I love you can also use the Planoly app to add and create content. In the Planoly app, you can add images to your library from photo albums, Dropbox, Google Drive, and free stock photos. I'm currently working on adding holiday content to my pen library. I'm getting ahead of the holiday rush and planning my content out now. I love being able to have multiple pins scheduled in advance, helping save me time. Here's how you schedule pins. Click on the image from your pin library that you want to turn into a pin. Once you're in the pin scheduler, you can add the title to your pin. The pin title should be clear and searchable and relate to the pin image. Add a pin description. The pin description should relate to the image, use descriptive words. Direct link to your pin. Make sure the URL you're using is a correct URL, URL and the page loads properly. In the pin scheduler, you can also select the date and time you want your pin to go live, along with selecting the Pinterest board you want the pin saved to. You can also create a new Pinterest board by the pin scheduler. You can also save pins to your hidden boards. Once everything is filled out, click save. By planning out your content in advance, you're essentially automating your pin process and saving yourself a lot of time. Once your pin is scheduled, it's added to the calendar. You can also drag and move it around the calendar if you need to change the date it goes live. I love that Pin Planner gives you the flexibility to create pins from your desktop and the mobile app. You can also use look at your pin analytics from both the desktop and mobile app. 
as you can see, here's my calendar. And I like being able to move things around very easily and fill out every, all my little time slots. Now that you know how to use pen plan or schedule your pens, let's chat about Pinterest best practices. How to create Pinterest friendly pens with Planoly. What Pinterest looks for in pens. Making sure your pen pops. Pinterest friendly pens are searchable both visually and by text. Pinterest friendly pens have clear titles. Pinterest is a visual search engine. However, your pen name and pen description still matter. Unlike other social media platforms, Pinterest creates organic traffic to your blog or website. Pinterest has helped me gain organic traffic to my blog. It's helped me monetize my Pinterest content. It's helped me grow my blog readership. It's helped me grow my email list subscribers. It's also helped me partner with brands to create original, original content. On average, I have 3.5 million monthly Pinterest views, and I average 250 new followers every week. In April, I created a pin that went viral. Since April, that pin has been viewed 6.7 million times, repinned 37,000 times, and has gotten over 220,000 pin clicks. Bottom line, Pinterest converts. Pinterest gives you the organic traffic, and Pinterest content stays evergreen longer than any other platform, including Instagram or Facebook, Pinterest is where it's at. <laughs> Be descriptive. Let's keep these details in mind when you're creating your next pin. Make sure your visuals stand out. Ideal Pinterest pins should be vertical with a two, three image ratio. Make sure your images are clear and tell a story. Over 80% of Pinterest users are on the mobile app, which makes it easy, makes it important that if you use text on your pin images, that everything is easy to read and clear. Create a clear title and description of your pin. The pin title should be clear and searchable and relate to your pin image. Think about the pin name and how you would search for it. If you were searching for a blue sofa, you would get a million blue sofas on Pinterest. So the more detailed you are in your pin name and pin description, the better. So you would look for a blue modern sofa and be able to find that faster. The pin description should tell what the pin is about. Remember to be searchable and discoverable. Use keywords. Think SEO, search engine optimization. Where you link your pin matters. Make sure you link Make sure the link you use for your pin is the correct and it links to the correct page and loads correctly. The page or pin it linked to should relate back to your pin image, pin name, and pin description. I encourage you to get more mileage out of your pins. For every pin you create in Palinoli's Pin Planner, you can also repurpose it with a new pin title, a new description, and a few simple tweaks of all it takes to change up your pin. For example, the original pin name of this could be how to make a charcuterie board for the holidays. You can simply change the pin name to make an easy crisp, make an easy charcuterie board for the holidays. Just a few tweaks in the names is all you need to make a new pin and then simply make a few changes and edits to the description. Other new pin names could be everything you need to make a holiday cheese board, step-by-step -step on making a charcuterie board, how to build a fall cheese board, the best meat and cheese and fruit pairings for a holiday charcuterie board. From that one pin, I was able to create six alternative pin names. And these are why people might be searching on, pin, on Pinterest. They could be searching for everything you need to make a holiday cheese board and they'll find yours and yours will rank higher on the top when they're searching for through images. In addition to planning out content one pin at a time, you also have the ability to create Pinterest campaigns in Pin Planner. A Pinterest campaign allows you to use one title, one description, and one URL for multiple images, helping you save time. 
With a campaign, you can create rules. You can select the campaign start date. You can select what boards you want your pins saved to. You can also spread the pin across multiple boards. You can also select the date and time you want the pins to go live. Not only Pinterest campaigns can help increase engagement. Creating a campaign is a great way to post and to promote your seasonal content. For example, you can create a campaign for Halloween, you can create a campaign for Christmas and New Year's and so on. This is also a great way to see what pin images are performing better based on the image you use. I'm huge on repurposing content. If you create a good content, you should reshare it. Another idea for a Pinterest campaign is to use it to grow your email list. If you are a blogger and are a website and you're trying to build your email list out, you can create a pin campaign using the one title, one description, and URL for multiple images, and that can help drive more traffic to your blog or website. Now is a great time to revisit your old holiday content. Everything can, that's old can be new again. Here's how and what I'm planning to create pins from for older holiday content. I'm creating new pins from previously shared Thanksgiving content, including how to set an evening Thanksgiving table, kid-friendly appetizers, flower arrangements for Thanksgiving, family-friendly Thanksgiving ideas, how to serve buffet style. I'm also creating new pins from previously shared holiday content for decor and craft projects, including how to make a wreath. I'm creating new pins for previously shared holiday content for desserts. I'm going to be sharing a copycat Starbucks recipe. <laughs> Sorry, um, a copycat recipe for Starbucks cranberry biscuit bars, how to make sweet potato pie. All of these are topics I've shared previously on my blog. By repurposing the content and making it new, I'm able to get new eyes on my blog and drive more traffic organically to my site. In addition to repurposing my content for my blog, I also repurpose content for my Instagram and I've created Pinterest content using Pin Planner. Plan Only Pin Planner. In summer, we talked about how Plan Only Pin Planner allows you to visually schedule your pins and how to use Plan Only's Pin Planner both on mobile and desktop. We talked about sharing how to schedule pins and get more mileage out of pins for a longer lasting evergreen content. We talked about how, sharing, how to share content on Pinterest campaigns and then why it's important to create pins from older content. How to, create con how to create your workflow before the holiday rush. By planning your, out your content in advance, you're essentially automating your pin process and saving yourself a lot of time, especially during the holiday season. What details to consider when creating content for Pinterest? Quick Pinterest best practices. Make sure your visuals stand out and that your images tell a story. And remember that vertical pins perform better and to use the correct image size. Those perform better as well. We also talked about why the pin titles matter and why it's important to have good pin descriptions. Thank you so much for joining me and I'm excited um, for the Q&A. Thank you so much, Katrina. Uh, thanks for sharing so many insights. Before going into the Q&A, I would do a quick round on about how Pin Planner works so users can actually see it in action. So I'm gonna share my screen so everyone can see it and I'm gonna share some tricks here. So let's start. So whenever you join Pin Planner, this is the first screen that you'll see. Uh, you'll see here all your pins and we have different tabs. We have the library that includes all your unscheduled pins. Then we, you can click here and you'll see your scheduled pins and then you'll see your published pins. So this is what we have right here. And then on this side, we have the calendar as Katrina mentioned, here we have it and you can see it in two different ways. You can see it through the month or weekly as well. So if you click here, you'll get a weekly view. 
we'll do it uh, as a month, as of right now. So if you want to add, let me move right here into the library. Okay, I just created. Okay, so if you want to add content to your pin planner, how you do it? So basically, you can click here on Add to Library. And as Katrina mentioned, we have different sources in which you can upload different content. So you have content from your computer, from Dropbox, from Google Drive. And I'm very, very excited to share that now you can also upload content through Canva. So if you click here, and my computer gets a little bit slow whenever I'm sharing my computer, so bear with me. But whenever uh, you click there, Canva will open. So it is amazing because you can create content from here. Or if you already created some content, you can also access it here. So it's super easy, the part of planning and scheduling content that you already created. So I created this one, this pin. Uh, for this webinar. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to click save to Planoly. So the design will be prepared and then it will be shared into your Planoly account and you'll see it here. So just as an FYI, if you see a little S, this means that the pin has been scheduled. But if you see a little U, this means that the pin is on schedule as of right now. Oh, what's going on with my, sorry, my computer gets a little bit slow whenever I'm sharing, so bear with me. Uh, log in, let me log in into my account and I'll share all the details with you. Okay, so we have the pin here. Once the pin has been uploaded, you can click on the pin and here is where you will add all the information that you want to add. So here you decide the title. So for this one, I'm going to put like flowers. Obviously, you can make it as detailed as you want. You can add all the keywords and then you can add the description as well. It is super important, as Katrina mentioned, to add all the description and add as many keywords as you have right here. And then from here, you can add the link in which you want uh, to send your traffic to. Here you'll select the board in which you want to share your pin to. So I'm gonna select this one. And it is super cool that you can add extra boards. We have two different options for scheduling. So you can basically doing it, do it from here. So you can say like, okay, I want this pin to go live tomorrow at 12 p.m. And once you have it ready, you can click here on save. And another option, uh, would do, I don't want to save it because I want to share it with you. So. Once you complete all your information, another option is to drag and drop it into here. So you can create pre-selected like quick schedules and you can add them here by just drag and dropping all your pins. So if you want to do that, you'll need to click here on settings. And once you click on settings, you'll need to click on quick schedule. And once you are on quick schedule, you'll select the day that you want to add the time for. So for example, I know that Mondays is a great day for engagement for me. So what you can do is you can click on edit and then you can click on Monday and you can add the date and time that you want for this pin. So you add like here, I added like Monday, 11.59 a.m and you save here on quick schedule and it will show on all the Mondays here, as you can see. So this is super easy because you can pre-create like all your schedules and then you can just drag and drop your pins into here. Another thing that I want to show you is what happens whenever you have like a bunch of content. For example, you have a shop and you want to create a lot of traffic into that specific website and it is the same website for all of these images or all of these pins. So we have an option of creating organic campaigns. What is this? So basically here, what you'll need to do is you click here on create campaign. You select a name for your campaign. I'm gonna select flowers. And then I'm gonna click on begin. Then you select the pin title. It is very important to say that all these images will share the same pin title, pin description and pin URL. So it is not possible to select a specific one for each of the images, but all of them will share this image. So I'm gonna put here flower, uh, flowers, I'm gonna put 
in the description flowers that make me smile. I'm just making up this right now. And that pin URL, I'm gonna send them to my landing page that is pearlyprince.com. So after you complete this, you're gonna click next. And then here you can select when your campaign will start. So for example, I want it to start next Thursday, 21st. And here you can select which boards you want these images to be posted to. So I'm gonna add farm inspiration. You can add as many as you want. Even you can create a new board game, a new board, and you can make it public or secret. So here I want also to add it to plans. And then you'll click next. And here is where you can create a specific times for your campaign. So you can do it manually, or we also have the option of auto-generating time. So you can click here and we'll auto-generate like different slots for your pins. And then you'll click next. Once you completed this, you'll need to add images to this specific campaign. So what you'll do is you click here and then you click uh, on the source in which you want to upload your content. So I'm gonna select my computer. And I'm going to scroll down to select these images. You can upload as many as you want. And while they upload, you'll start seeing them here. And once they are uploaded, you'll see them here. So as you can see them, we created like a key of different like pins. And they, it is very important to say that they will follow the order of the images that you uploaded here. But if you want to shuffle them, we also have that option. So you can click here and the pins will shuffle and then the order will change. This is how campaigns work. It is a paid feature on Pin Planner. And we also have Analyze. I'm not gonna get into many details on Analyze, but here is where you can see all your metrics and analytics on how Pinterest is working. So you can see like your audience, obviously this is a demo account, so we don't have a lot of followers. You can see how many followers engage with your content, how many pins you have, how many impressions, how many clicks, saves. You can do it in the last seven days, 30 days, 90 days, or you can create a specific time frame, which is super cool and super useful, especially if you are reporting uh, to a client, for example. And then here you can look at the analytics of each board. So this is also one of my favorite features that we have. And I'm gonna show you a secret trick that we have. So I know I saw a question out here that they were asking if we had a, a, a web extension. And yes, we do have it. So if you want to install it, you can search for it on the App Store. And whenever you join Pin Planner, you'll get a banner asking if you want to install it. So just click on there, and then you'll get this little key, which it is awesome. It is a plugin that allows you, let me show you. So it allows you to plan content on the go. So if you're on your website, for example, you can just click on the, that image, and then you can start creating your content and save it through here to your Pinterest strategy, which it is awesome. I'm gonna show you another hack. Uh, so they have asked us a lot of time, like, hey, what happens if we want to repurpose Instagram content? We know that sometimes you don't have the ability to create content every single week and you just want to repurpose some images that you already posted maybe to another platform. As you can see here, if you go into Instagram on web, you will not see the P but I have a hack for you. So if you click here on the P, so it will open and then from here, it will load all your images and you can bulk schedule all the images that you want. So you can select all of them. So right now I want to add four of them. And the fun part is that you can create a campaign. You can save them to your library or you can schedule them from them. So. I would say this is a lifesaver. I know that it is a lifesaver at least for our content team, which they repurpose a bunch of content for Pinterest. I know it is not ideal and you need to create a specific content for each platform, but we know, let's be honest, that sometimes you don't have the time to create new content. So you can use this hack to do that. And this is how you use Pin Planner. And now we're gonna move into the Q&A. So, okay. Let's start with some questions, Katrina. How do you feel about it? Oh, you're back. Oh, 
Okay, let's uh, start with some questions. So they are asking, how often do you post and how many posts do you recommend per day? Is there a secret formula? I'm not sure. I don't know if there's a secret formula, at least for me, but the more your pin is visible, the more it's repinned. So I organically will go on to Pinterest and repin other things that I see to my boards. And then I will schedule my own content and do a couple times a day. Okay. I don't go overboard, you know what I mean? But I try to be in the actual app, their actual app organically pinning other people's content too, not just my own. That's awesome. I have a question and this is mine. How long in advance, in advance do you plan your content? Is it weekly, monthly? I'm not a huge planner. I'm trying to get better at that. So I'm okay. more of like a bi-monthly planner. Okay. But I'm trying to do like, I have friends that do monthly planning sessions and that's what I aspire to do. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for the clarification. So we have another question that they're asking if there's an easy way to upload content from my Instagram. So I just show you how to use the extension. So I think that's a cool hack. And I'm seeing other questions about like, hey, are you gonna share this uh, recording? Yeah, we're gonna send it through email. So if you register, you're gonna receive this and we'll also share it on our panel events uh, landing page. So make sure to join and you'll be able to, to see all these tips and tricks every time you want. Okay. okay. So we have another uh, question for you. That is how does she, well, how does Katrina use her like her email list to grow? Oh, how do I use um, Plan Only to grow my email list? So you can create a campaign for that. So you can create um, opt-in through Canva, and then you would use that, you would use multiple different images created in Canva, and then you could use the plan only and schedule that out to create a campaign for that. And that could be different boards. And then people will see that email opt-in list. Um, sometimes you can do like, depending on what kind of business you have, it could be a free giveaway, maybe it's um, how to decorate a room, maybe it's um, like recipes, some kind of opt-in maybe, and that's how you grow your email list that way. And then plus having an opt-in on your website helps too, but really having it through Pinterest, the opt-in that way, it, it grows faster. Perfect, that's amazing, thank you. We have another question for you. Oh, we're receiving so many questions that it says, should I include repinning others users' content into my Pinterest strategy? I mean, I would probably do that organically on other boards, but my own personal board for my own brand, I don't repin content there. So, I mean, if you're organically repinning, that's fine, but I wouldn't take other people's pins and add it to plan only to repin that way. I try to keep my own content organic and do it that way personally. Perfect, thank you. Oh, and another question, Katrina, sorry for bombarding here with, like, with many questions. Uh, they're asking, where should the keywords be added, the description or the subject? What's your recommendation here? Well, definitely both. So, you know, whatever your um, title is going to be, those, those words can be built back into your description. So like how to make an easy charcuterie board, you kind of re-describe that in your description of what the pin is about, that really back, relates back to the image, that relates back to the URL to your blog or website. Great, thank you. And well, this is one of the questions that I'm seeing on the chat and also on the Q&A. I think this one is for me that it is, what's the difference between a pin and a campaign? So I want to clarify that a campaign is a pin planners like feature that we offer that it allows you to bulk schedule different images. And we have the same like title, the same pin description and the same page. And it allows you to create like a scheduled like calendar to share these pins like in a bulk. So that's what a campaign is. And then if you create a pin, you're just uploading a single pin into your like Pinterest account and it will show into a specific board. So that's the main difference. So, well, Katrina, we have a bunch of questions, uh, but we don't have a lot of time. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining us. It was great to have you here. And as I already mentioned, I'm a huge fan of your blog. I'm remodeling on my house. So I'm taking into consideration all your tips and tricks for small spaces. But, so thank you. And thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, please remember that we just announced a surprise session next week. 
with Adobe Spark. So make sure to sign up because it's gonna be awesome. And they're gonna show us how to create amazing content for Pinterest. So thank you, have a great day. Thank you, Paulina. Thank you, everyone.